Meet the new King of the Road, a colossal RV guaranteed to make you go wow. First thing pops into my mind is luxury with bling. We're the first to ever put a slide in. We still think we're the only ones that do it the right way. As big as a home and as elegant as a five-star hotel, this RV is mind-blowing with all of its luxuries hidden inside. RV Nation, take notice. This one's a game changer. Americans love the open road. And RVing has been an essential part of the American experience for over 100 years. From the earliest auto camper to the latest mega RVs, each generation adds fuel to the fire that drives the lifestyle, sparks innovation, and ignites the passion of the RV Nation. This one-of-a-kind RV is the product of more than 40 years of commitment to a singular mission. The fact that we hand-build each coach and it's done to the customer and the dealer specification really does make us stand out from the competition. We build every product we have on one production line. The details and meticulous care that go into these RVs begin from the start. Purchasing items specific to each order rather than in bulk is like building a fleet of mass quantities in one. This latest RV is the crown jewel and it's called the King Air. The team is customizing plans for a NASCAR fan planning to travel the circuit in extravagant style. It's got all the latest, greatest technologies. It's got the interior fit and finish and the exterior fit and finish of a multi-million dollar home. The King Air sets a new bar of luxury while also boasting amazing design flexibility. The client wants resort quality features and lots of glass surfaces all over the cabin. The teams listened and now they've got a plan. This is a completely new floor from anything we've ever done before. It's a quarter inch thick. It's also made out of recycled glass. We're going to have to work on a, on a new way of laying this tile uh, because the flexibility won't work in the system we have today. Once we get into the backsplashes, we've got a lot of shine going on here. It's a lit up backsplash, kind of almost like a mood lighting kind of thing. We want to work with it, make sure we're not going to hear anything when we're traveling down the road. This client has selected a floor plan that includes a master bedroom with a king-sized bed, a master bath with his and her sinks, and an oversized shower and a half bath for guests. Talk about custom. This rig's getting a master bath fit for a king. What I want to do is a full shower wall, both walls. Very different from anything we've done. The entire shower will be made out of this glass, and we will be using vessel sinks as well back here. The kitchen sink will be glass, metallic, and we want to put lights around those. So that'll be something be between engineering, mocking it up, and production, figuring out how to make it work. Well, it looks like we all have a plan, and we know where we need to go. This one-of-a-kind RV will ride on a rock-solid chassis structure that is the strongest and most durable in the industry. It weighs in at 54,000 pounds, which is the maximum weight of a chassis like this allowed on the road. In this building, we add our jacks, generators, and basically start all the welding. We do our engine cages, front dash, bulkhead areas, and then it comes down the line. We do our superstructures, whether it be the basin floor or the main floor support. Weld that all together here. We put our slide-out tubes in that we fabricate here, and then it goes up and gets leveled and final welded before it goes into our black chassis paint booth. Once welding has been completed and passed rigorous quality control inspection, this baby's ready for the chassis paint booth. Painting the chassis black reduces the risk of rust and corrosion that occurs naturally, a result of exposure to the elements. Once the chassis is painted black, it stays in here about a half an hour. The air movement in here will help to cure that paint. Now, this is not an easy bake oven. Every unit we build will come into this booth, get painted. It'll come outside dry and then go into our chassis prep line. This King Air is being built for the long haul and its owner expects to be logging a lot of miles crisscrossing the country on the NASCAR circuit. It needs to be durable, reliable, and extremely comfortable. Every coach we build, we have to look at as a customer's dream and a customer's home. These are custom homes. 
Coming up, wait till you see what it takes to get this RV wired. Like this King Air being loaded, it, it can be pushing up to five miles worth of wiring. RV Nation's making all the right connections. Stay tuned. The largest percentage of the nation's RVs are manufactured in which state? Is it Florida, Indiana, Iowa, or Ohio? We'll have the answer when RV Nation continues. The largest percentage of the nation's RVs are manufactured in Indiana. A whopping 79.5% of all the RVs made in America in 2013 came from this Midwestern state. Americans love the open road, and for many there is no greater expression for that passion than the RV lifestyle. This latest RV is about to take the cake when it comes to modern luxury and comfort. The King Air is being built with the most up-to-date technology and processes in the industry. The RV industry may not be as uh, robotic oriented as, say, the automotive industry. We do have quite a bit of equipment and specialization to make us more efficient, to give us good fit, good finish, and a good quality product. Every coach is unique. We have about 80 floor plans. We have nine models. They all go down one assembly line one at a time. There's no one else in the industry that does that. And we've had to set up all of our production areas and our processes to be flexible to do any sequence of any product offering we have at any point in time. And like any custom builder, the attention to detail is evident anywhere, as can be seen by the Pass Mountain Airmont. Just take a look at this lavish bar and discreetly hidden 46-inch LED flat screen TV, not to mention the spacious kitchen. The build quality and extra special touches really shine through on this model. But just wait till you see the interior on the ultra-luxurious King Air that's currently being built for a client that wants the best of the best. With the frame in place and painted, focus shifts to the King Air's complex electrical systems. After it leaves the paint booth, the unit comes to this station, which is our chassis electrical department. We're working on everything below the floor. Inverters, batteries, uh, switches, solenoids, storage trays, storage tanks, everything that's below the floor. And they're also starting to wire up the front end where the dash will go in. At this station, now that the main floor is down, we've got wiring that's coming up through the floor. We've got plumbing that's coming up through the floor. And that's all in preparation for when this coach goes to our main assembly building, where the cabinets and the showers and the, and the uh, lavatory cabinets are going to be set. Commissioned for a NASCAR fan, this King Air will sport a patented slide-out system. It was something that wasn't there before. Now every motorhome essentially has a slide-out or two or three or four. This extreme RV is getting a 29-foot full wall slide-out. Once we cut our aluminum extrusions, we have engineering drawings for everything we do. This here is a full slide-out sidewall, all, all built for, with different extrusions, cut to length, weld it together. What we're doing here is continuing to weld sub-assemblies for the main sidewalls. What you see here is the front end of a slidewall. That will be put over here and, and welded on our main tables. Once this wall gets welded up, it'll get transported to our main assembly line. It'll get built into a slide-out box, and that box will get set onto the coach online within three days from now. This is the kitchen slide-out for our King Air. This slide out is built in the middle of our assembly plant with the rest of our slide out boxes. But in this coach, because of the configuration of the cabinetry on this kitchen, this slide out has to be built before our walls go on. It's built up, it's going to be lifted onto the, the main floor before our side walls go on. When we build up this kitchen slide out, all of our plumbing lines, all of our electrical 110 and low voltage lines are run in this slide out, ready to be hooked up into the main coach. These sink bowls, actually have lights around them on the inside. Once it gets set on the other side of our assembly line, then it'll get hooked up and you'll have power and plumbing. Coming up, the trade secret behind a finished masterpiece is revealed. We do all of our own paint work. We don't farm any of that out to an outside supplier. We mix all our own paint colors here in-house. It takes extra time and extra labor in order to come up with the mirror-like finish that the King Air has. Which long-running late-night TV host was quoted as saying, RVing is a nice activity because it's you and the wife and the kids and you go everywhere. 
Was it Jay Leno, David Letterman, Conan O'Brien, or Jon Stewart? We'll have the answer when RV Nation continues. Which long-running late-night TV host was quoted as saying, RVing is a nice activity because it's you and the wife and the kids and you go everywhere. David Letterman, the longest-running late-night host in television history. This extreme RV is renowned for its quality, craftsmanship, and innovation. And while it's on the cutting edge of the industry, it also maintains the age-old Amish tradition of excellence and woodworking. We offer several different wood finishes. This is the caramel maple glaze uh, cabinetry, and we do all this work in-house. The cabinets are built in-house, they're hand sanded, as well as glazed. We're in our hardwoods department now. This is our computerized optimizing cutoff saw. What this saw allows us to do, we takes all of our cabinet face frame material, it allows us to optimize the use of material, it provides a much better quality cut and consistent cut for square cabinet face frames than a traditional uh, chop saw would be. We use vinyl wrap materials, and we also, the, the, the majority of our hardwoods is maple and cherry. This King Air is being custom built for a NASCAR fan that has chosen the ginger glazed dark wood cherry with a high gloss finish. We have a program for each floor plan we cut. They'll load it into the computer. They'll take all the raw sizes, depending on the width of the cabinet face frame, and run it through this optimizing saw. Once it gets through here, we'll take it down the way here, build it into a face frame, the face frame will get sanded, that will go into a cabinet front, and then go to our finishing room to get finished. Assembling the unit sidewalls is the next step. This must be completed prior to the placement of the roof panels. These walls are hanging on hoists. They're going to be trolleyed out over the main floor, set down, and be screwed down onto the main floor. After that, we'll move the coach over to get our roof put on. The clients decided to add the optional $7,000 solar package. The roof of this King Air will be outfitted with six sun-forced flexible 94-watt solar panels. This will extend the amount of time the RV can run without power hookups or an external generator and will provide power for everything from a cell phone to a full-sized onboard fridge. This should come in pretty handy while following the NASCAR circuit all around the country. There's six different solar panels that are two foot by eight foot long. The whole top of this roof will be solar panels. With these batteries and inverters, you can not have uh, power for quite a period of, long period of time and have everything in the coach work. Just how much power the solar panels generate and how long the King Air systems can run on it depends on a host of factors. Rest assured, there's plenty of juice. It takes a vast complex of wires and cables to tie these systems together. Like this King Air being loaded, it, it can be pushing up to five miles worth of wiring. For the first station, uh, we pull all our 110 wiring for all your appliances. It goes underneath into the basement for any a furnace or anything down there, and then up into slide outs for refrigerators, etc. The second station, we start our 12 volt process. We pull all our wires from the floor. It's a lot more efficient. The third, we finish up the 12 volt. The guys inside start hooking up the lights, the switches. All the appliances that are in the unit at that point get hooked up and tested. He then goes around, checks all the switches, make sure they turn off the right section of lights. And then he checks the breakers, make sure they turn off the right reset. In keeping up with its commitment to the latest technology, this King Air is being outfitted with environmentally friendly LED lighting. As you can see now, we're starting to get everything hot, hook up the lights and get the power going to them. Um, this in particular is our LED accent lighting, which we have throughout the coach. We've got the stereo system in, uh, starting satellite components, uh, DVD, Blu-ray players. Uh, we're getting all the switches hooked up now and everything hot. And then as a final, we'll put everything back together that we need to panels, make sure all the switches work, uh, clean out the unit, and we'll send it on to the next uh, group. We're buttoning everything up, and the next time you see it, it'll be a whole new uh, RV. Already famous for exterior painting, this King Air will be a rolling work of art. The trademark full painted masterpiece finish requires as much as 16 gallons per vehicle. For years, the paint shops held a closely guarded trade secret until now. Stilts. The best way to do this is on stilts. 
We have quite a few guys here who can walk stilts, which makes them that much more versatile. Uh, we could do it all on a scaffold, like you see up front, or we could do it uh, by a ladder, but that's just not quite as efficient. Up here, I got plenty of range to move around. We've all been on ladders before, and sometimes you overreach where you should be, and, and it actually can be a dangerous situation. Well, being on stilts allows you to go one way to the other just by simply taking a step. We found it to be actually a, a, a very efficient way for us to do it. The process begins with the application of several types of primer. Next comes the base coat, followed by color for graphics, then a final clear coat. We have four people in there. They do all your blending, all your fades, and we do some custom things also that helps minimize the uh, clear coat edge at the very end of the process. After that there, we stage the units for the next day, and then we pull them in the clear coat booth. The rig is then moved into the bake booth for about 45 minutes, where it bakes at a top surface temperature of 140 degrees for at least half an hour. Once they're cured, they come out to the detail area where they're all put back together. Slide-out seals are put on, roof coating, basic detail. We do siliconing and awning installation and everything else through this building as well. And Newmar's painters go to extreme lengths to make sure their masterpiece finish lives up to its name. Coming up, a new king of the road is crowned. It's just not like any other motorhome out there. Stay tuned. Where does the name Winnebago come from? A nickname for the original creator's wife, the county they were manufactured, the name of the first building they were built in, or a childhood pet's name? We'll have the answer when RV Nation continues. Where does the name Winnebago come from? The nickname Winnebago comes from the county they were manufactured in, Winnebago County, Iowa. A NASCAR fanatic is about to take delivery of this beautiful new 2014 King Air RV. Just the, the, the silhouette of this coming down the road, there's no questions what it is. And that's what this customer likes. He wants to see, he wants other people to see him coming down the road. This is the biggest, boldest vehicle in the fleet. With its super strong chassis, 600 horsepower turbo diesel engine, diesel generator, 20,000 pound from axles and huge tires, it's also the most expensive. No surprise there. This particular one sits at $902,000. With this chassis, you get the tremendous drive, tremendous ride, but you also get 140 gallon water tank, 200 gallon fuel tank, it's going to have larger storage tanks. One of the new things we did, the graphics will now continue through those windows. So you get that real great Highline look. You'll also see it going through the awnings up top. At the front of this coach, we absolutely, the whole front of it fades down to a darker color. There's over three coats of clear coat. It's wet, sanded, and buffed. It's absolutely beautiful. We want people to be able to look in there just like a mirror. And the new owner wants to be able to show off every aspect of his new toy at each stop along the NASCAR circuit especially its remarkable engine, which is easily accessed via the unit's air piston push button control. Among the King Air's most visible attributes is its signature slide out design, and the 2014 model raises the bar to an all time high. Everybody's got a slide, but we're the first to ever put a slide in. We still think we're the only ones that do it the right way. And look at a 29 foot full wall slide does for your motorhome. The innovative slide out system generates a generous amount of interior space. All the better to impress your buddies when the race is on TV. Everything that is run through here, you can run through your tablet. Once you get in here, you really want to show your friends what you've got. Now you pop up on your televator, your 46 inch TV. Surround sound system all the way through. The speakers are hidden inside the cabinetry all the way around the coach. Tailgating takes on a whole new meaning with amenities like these. Forget the picnic table and folding chairs. This race fan's guests are dining in style. As you step back into the galley area, you'll see the very contemporary faucets. And one of the new things we did this year is we did the tempered glass sinks with the back LED lighting that goes around both sides of them. Absolutely beautiful, very high-end look. This high-end approach extends to all the cabinetry, handcrafted from the finest woods. You've got over 90 feet of hand-glazed cabinetry in here. Just beautiful, you feel it, it's a very contemporary look. The custom master bathroom has been designed to spend quality time in. Well, as we step into the rear bath area, if I haven't made you say wow yet, wait till you see back here. Very, very residential, 
um, club feel. It's going to be a resort area feel. Between the 42 inch residential shower with a fold down teak seat, you got your tempered glass vessel sinks, your faucets that are mounted into the wall. It's an oasis for the customer when they're going down the road. The proud new owner is sure to be crowned king of the infield when he pulls up to the race in this King Air. Just imagine the Talladega Nights ahead. It just says, wow, the whole thing from driving it down the road to getting in the sound system, the heated floors, the comfort, as elegant and beautiful as it is, it's home. The racetrack experience is about to get a major upgrade and the RV Nation's gonna go wild. See you down the road.